I'm here at Dulwich Picture Gallery to view an exhibition of John Singer Sargent's watercolours. The first time there has been a comprehensive exhibition of those paintings in almost a hundred years. The exhibition begins with his little studies of architectural fragments, but then it moves thematically through cities, Venice, landscapes and figures. As a watercolour artist myself and as a great lover of Venice, I'm very keen to take some lessons from what Sargent was able to achieve when he was painting in Venice. And this is one particularly striking example on the Zateri. There are few paintings that Sargent did in Venice which make me want to travel there more than this image. It's unfinished, it's an unbalanced composition, and yet in its state it communicates to me all the things that make Venice a wonderful subject for artists. That feeling of the interaction of sunlight, water, and extraordinary architecture, picking up all the reflections from the canal. This image absolutely glows, just like an evening in Venice. And the reason that it does that is because Sargent was so sophisticated in the way he painted. He washed his colour across the page. He never overworked it. He allowed the luminescence of the paper underneath to come shining through and to make us feel that this is a fleeting, transient moment in time that we can still share in. Now, Sargent didn't just paint in Venice and in urban environments. He also loved to be out en plein air in the landscape. Uh, and there's one particular watercolour that I love, which is painted in a place called San Vigilio. Sargent used his watercolours to really rediscover the joy of paint. And that's what we see here, an artist unleashed painting simply for the pleasure of it. I mean, the whole painting is imbued with a sense of immediacy. He has rushed across the image with a heavily laden brush of watercolour. And he hasn't even allowed certain areas of the paint to dry before he's reapplied paint on top of that first layer. Which means that here, where you might just think this is an accidental bloom of paint, of brown on top of gold, He's very intentionally suggested to our imagination that maybe this is the shadow of a branch behind our heads waving in the breeze. That's what the blur is about. And to achieve that, you have to be technically expert. That's no accident. This image could be turned upside down and it would still be a thrill to look at. A wonderful abstract exchange of colour, brushwork and pattern. It's beautiful. This is an image of a landscape detail, and that was the favourite subject for Sargent. Apparently he wasn't too keen on painting panoramas, but when he had the opportunity, boy, could he do that well too. This is an image of an alpine landscape. Sargent has revealed to us in this painting that he was a master technician. He's concentrated all of his detail on this emerald diagonal forest which crosses the middle distance of the painting, but in the foreground and the background there's hardly any detail at all. In fact, much of the paper is exposed and allowed to show through. And what that does is create a tension between the foreground, where your eye begins, and travelling across all of this detailed forest into the distance, we get a sense of space. To achieve that is enormously hard because it means you have to paint quickly and with confidence. And Sargent was more than capable of doing that. In this moment, he has seized the illumination of the sun coming out from behind the clouds, striking across the mountains and giving us a journey into space. Sargent was, of course, renowned for being a portrait painter. And here in the last room of the exhibition, we find him using watercolour to paint figures. This is Lady with an umbrella and in fact the subject was one of his nieces, captured I believe whilst they were on an alpine stroll. But you wouldn't think that because it is an image of such seductive intensity, your imagination is transported to all other kinds of possibilities. Sargent is able to evoke that quality of elegance and sensuousness mainly through his composition. He has cropped the figure very tightly so that so much of her dress is actually billowing out of the picture frame, which means that right away we're zooming into the image with our eyes and we follow the elegant inverted S shape of her body, which leads us across her legs, through her hips, up her body towards her beautiful face, which is the only area in the painting that Sargent has concentrated the detail. In this image, about two thirds of it is actually a mere abstract exploration of what paint can do. The patterns, the colours, interacting across one another 
to tell us that this is a mass of fabric. But even if we didn't know that, it's still fascinating. And that, of course, is because Sargent was, wow, just such a pure artist. And the pleasure of painting was something that he indulged himself in and allows us to enjoy on his behalf. In this painting, it's all about sensuous pleasure. In many of his other works, it was something more dramatic that he was after. And in this watercolour of a figure in a gondola, there's a complete change in tone. Now, Venice could be colourful and luminescent, but it could also be moody and dramatic. And that's exactly what this painting is all about. Sargent is a young 25-year-old artist willing to take risks from the extreme dramatic composition to the isolation of this figure picked out in dark indigos and blues against a fluid backdrop of misty ochres. And this particular scrubble of paint in the bottom left-hand corner that I love, which simply energizes the whole image. Sargent was often criticized for telling you too much. In this painting, he's told us just enough and he allows us to weave our own narrative around the mystery of this woman in black. Many of these images were never really intended for exhibition, and it's actually a great privilege to be able to look through this artist's sketchbook, to see him painting with freedom and with joy. And I really do urge you to come and have a look at Sargent's watercolours, which are on display until the 8th of October. <laughs>